What's going on? What's going on? Brutus here with a war recap video. Last two minutes of a random one hive. Man, this is something special. Gonna try to maybe get in this last two town hall tens. We'll probably see one. No, it's not. I guess it's kind of a ninja live, but it's really not. It's, it's a war recap. We're just gonna possibly catch a live attack in the process. Uh, these town hall 11s. Oop, Duce. Oh, I don't think you, uh, I think this is one that was finishing. Oh, I missed one. We'll go back out because we're waiting on Ghost. I don't know where Ghost, nothing but Town Hall 11's left. Yep. All right, so <laughs> this clan, whoo! You guys want to know what the setup was for this? They had uh, plus seven Town Hall 11's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Engineer clan, um, huge obstacle. One Hive had three Town Hall 11's. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was a difficult war. Um, number 30 or number 28, basically your standard uh, no defense, no walls, 40-40-20 with max bowlers and max, max miners and max valks. That's right, you heard me. <laughs> Classic engineer clan. Um, 300, um, we'll get in here, 350 wins, 12 win streak. I can see why. <laughs> Uh, we have just about the same with 300 approximately wins, 350 wins or so. Let's see if we can't get Ghost up in here. Um, I do have three replays that I already hand selected out of here. Oh, snap. Did he get it? What? what? No, he didn't. <laughs> All right. We got one minute left here. Let's go, Ghost. Let's go. Good try. Let's go, Ghost. All right, uh, they got a few. See, they got one Town Hall 11 hit left. I think that pretty much sealed it, though. I mean, I think that's going to be the war. We'll see if we can. I'm sorry. I'm trying to stall out here and see where he's going to hit because there's nothing but 11s left. So let's let's segue or prelude this thing. Freaking hats off to the Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 10s. Actually, all of one hive. I mean, all the 9s did their job. This will be 81. We'll let him get that. I don't know where Ghost is going to go. Maybe Ghost isn't going to go. I don't know. He's got 14 seconds. We win. I think that's what he said. Could have sworn they have more. Is Ghost not going to go? I don't think Ghost needs... Oh, there. oh yeah. Right. Right? <laughs> oh, man. So, um, really good showing uh, by all of the One Hive clan. Um, obviously the bottom bases were gimmies, like the bottom fours, a lot of internet bases, you know, I think I saw three different PCBs, uh, popular Chinese bases, you can find them all over YouTube back in like 2014, 2015, um, yeah, yeah, it was good to see those, uh, to use old, older attacks, you know, like your standard gohos and whatnot, um, you know, old strats and old bases too are very OP. Baby Dragon's up there to get some free percentage. Going to make like a lane here. Um, this clan, Dusan Bears from South Korea, let me just tell you, you guys know what's up with bowlers. I mean, they love them some bowlers. But I actually learned something from this war. Um, at every town hall level, 11, 10, and 9, they utilized the bowlers flawlessly. I mean, there was some really impressive bowler attacks. Um, so, yeah, bowlers do OP. <laughs> um, as he gets into this eagle here, he's got to get that, that down quick. Eternal Tomb ability is used. There goes down the eagle. CC's done. That Inferno on the bottom has got to go down quick or else he's going to lose all these bowlers. Get it? Somebody get it! <laughs> Uh, it's parting like the Red Sea. There we go. That's looking a bit promising, though. Those bowlers are going to be lost to BFE at the top. That Inferno's going to get them. So everything's about down here. We got a miniature golem walk going on. It's unfortunate that the golem locked onto the... Sorry, the healer's locked onto the golem and left the queen all by herself. Got to pop that ability. That's really unfortunate. This possibly could have been so much more. But he got a deuce on a Tano 11. It's going to be really high percent as well. Not the hardest base in the world. Different designs, that's for sure. Um, but back to his respect of this clan. Whew, man. 
they did some bowler walks at every town hall level that was freaking impressive. Um, I even saw them utilizing HPVB with um, uh, quite a bit as well. It just kind of tells you the viability and uh, OPness. Uh, that's right, I said penis on YouTube, but OPness uh, of the um, of that attack strategy is this is going to be a respectable high 80 percent as long as this bowler gets the. Um, some pieces here. We'll back out. Nice, nice job. I can't, you know, I'll tell you guys this 82 81. Holy cow. Um, if, wow, I can't believe he pulled this out. When we matched and we looked to see what we got, uh, the, the, um, woo, that's right. Woo. We all thought we lost. Like, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I don't mind sharing this with you guys. But the moment we matched, we looked at it and we said, oh, rip win, win streak there goes our win streak <laughs> man what an impossible feat great way to open up and segue into the clan war league round four uh by forever uh, one hive tomorrow depending on when i post this i'll probably post this uh tonight hopefully so it'll still be tomorrow um nice job let's uh, go down right into the let's look at the the results here we had 22 out of um out of 30 um, three stars. The only ones not tripled were the Town Hall 11s up top uh, that were true Town Hall 11s. Um, and then they had 21. And that, there's your one star difference. Total destruction, 89 to 94 because they had some really not, uh, hot, nice. Um, they even three started what Town Hall 11 v Town Hall 11 uh, fresh. Uh, and they came up really close with the 94 and another one. Uh, and I'll show you that on the left side. I mean, this is how close they came. They tripled that one, and this one was a ninety-three uh, percent. I mean, there, that's your game winner right there, right? So respect out to Dusan Bears for the great war and a great practice, and a pat on the back for the uh, the One Hive Clan as we get ready for Clan War League. Uh, I'm sorry, Champions War League round four next week. And let's uh, without further ado, there's a few that I selected here. I think it was number twelve. Yep, twelve. This is a fresh hit. And for this fresh ship, we're going to do a double zap quake. Well, I'm sorry. He's got maybe not a double zap quake. Is one of the air defenses underdeveloped? Well, he's got four of them. So uh, minions for the funnel. Okay, zap one of them. How is he going to utilize? Are these underdeveloped ones? Maybe that's why. Yep, my bad. I'm sorry. So double zap quake. Zapping two of them. If you look at uh, the sweepers on this, I'm not saying these are the hardest bases in the world, but those are definitely the ones that you want to hit, uh, leaving these two air defenses remaining. Queen, uh, BK is going to get one of them, so now there's one air defense remaining of the four. I know that he was possibly aiming for this Inferno as well. It's really unfortunate, but the Queen walks on him, and he does not step up into the nook to get uh, a fall of the BK rather. Even with the ability being used, she reroutes out where it is out of the picture. So a little bit of a, an obstacle in the way with that multi-infernal left up. Um, standard funnel with minions on the bottom here, which was really cheap uh, to send the, then send the dragons with the max on and the, and the CC to buy them that precious time so that they can zoom up and take it out and then step up into the, excuse me, into the CC. He's got four loons left over, and you'll see them be used on the bottom here. We'll zoom in just a little bit um, with the haste for them to speed their ways around this Tesla farm. No way he would have known that was there. Obviously, he was just waiting for an opportune moment to utilize the uh, haste to the best advantage. And then he's got two baby dragons to help clean up the remaining trash with, both, with all the bowls remaining set to ground. The only thing really left that's a true threat uh, to the baby dragons would be this point defense of the archer tower and then any black sams typically the black sams being around air defenses that are now gone so having baby dragons around the ring here which is where he drops them it's easy cleanup and a few handful of minions to help support that really nice job um nice job chris this, i really like this um town all 10 v town all 10 free uh fresh double zap quake dragloon raid so we'll go to times four nothing but cleanup i got another town hall 10 because any swags out 14 troop space. Go down, not Master Fung, Diesel. Gotta do a hobo attack, Queen Walk hobo attack. Um, again, this I think this is even an internet base or uh, a variant of it or 
modified version of it. But I really liked um, the walk he does with this as we zoom in down here. Uh, his walk basically gets this entire line, this side right here, this entire quadrant. Um, the queen as well, he'll get that engagement. The uh, This entire section over here, and all the way down to this line, right about where my, uh, on the wall where I'm at. Sorry, I can't draw this out. Uh, but he opens up uh, with the giant, and then uh, to, to distract to send in those um, wall breakers. Um, queen will then reroute in there, and then basically form a nice side of the right-hand side of this funnel here. I believe he sends a hog in to get the CC lure out. I could be mistaken. But this walk was super high value. I mean, just super high value. That's what I really liked about this. So she'll shoot that and then continue her walk through. We'll zoom out just a little bit because you still got the CC and the queen to worry about because it is a hog attack. Oh, I think he goes the long way on this. Yep, there's the queen engagement. Going to use the ability for that. Yep, and he wins that battle. And then opens up the other wall and sends in his BK bowler and go, uh, behind a golem combination uh, that will take out the one inferno right here. And then he's going to send his hogs, as you see that now half the base, quite literally, once he gets down this section done, half the base is destroyed for the investment of a walk. And the, and the second phase of his attack, the gobo behind it um, uh, with BK combination and rage. I mean, great value here. Look, I think he even gets the other inferno before he even sends the hogs. He started, um, started the hogs on the top right. Really patient with the one heal that he has. They're getting down to really low health here, but enough of them survive. I think just three or four wounded hoggies come in here, and then he's going to put down um, the heal right around the splash damage and high hit point wizard tower and expo, which you missed on the far right, top right hand corner here, where I'm highlighting is the wizard tra um, already down on the trash ring. Uh, it, it, it didn't waste any time to do that, which I thought was just so smooth and complimentary. Uh, there's nothing left in the corners except, um, well, two huts. Uh, but being that his hogs end on one side and the wizards on the other, he'll get both of them. We'll go to times two. Textbook Town Hall 10 v Town Hall 10 Fresh Queen Walk Hobo. I mean, I really like that one as well. Um, Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 game was tight this war, man. And it needed to be. I mean, you guys saw the ending. <laughs> What an impossible task. Um, as we go down here, I wanted to show Quay, uh, yep, on number 15. Uh, Quay was recently, as he does a, uh, um, a, 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 go, a cold blooded Lalo attack. And look how he gets it. I mean, this is such a unique angle to take. I didn't see this angle. Uh, so when he did it, I was like, oh, that's pretty clever. So watch this cold blood um, Lalo that he does here. But Quay was recently on the Pirate Potter or Potter Pirate. If I'm murdering that, I'm sorry, podcast recently. Um, I'll put the link to the once it's posted uh, in the description. It might, depending if I post this uh, tonight, it may not be there right away. But I did want to mention the Pirate Potter uh, podcast that Quay was on. So if you guys want to know a little bit more about his interview and more about that podcast, I recommend Taking a, a listen to it, it's always good stuff there. You get to um, see the minds uh, of the great attackers, how they think, and their history as well, I believe is what Quay also talks about, um, representing one hive. So with two, uh, two haste um, and two more, uh, to zoom on over to that air defense, uh, he keeps... He double stacks the first one, reinforces the, the second AD, and has a fourth a, uh, um, Hound for the last AD. Um, just really textbook. I mean, the placement that he did uh, with these uh, haste were really surgical, really smart. They, they were not placed too early, which, oh crap, sorry about that. It's apparently time for me to charge my battery. Um, he didn't place them too early, which gets your sometimes gets your loon in front of your hounds, and that's definitely something you don't want, especially if there's something there's a Tesla farm that he didn't know but only saw after it popped afterwards um, that you're going to end on because and, and a wizard tower they'll make quick work of any loons coming in there if you have a water loons coming in and look how he keeps one loon for the back end just in case uh, so that they don't have to travel clear across the map um, for the trash ring. But um, really nice uh, decisions on when to place that haste, 
to make sure that um, your loons don't outrun your hound. Um, really nice job. And, he, and he Stu didn't have to chase the clock on this as the minions get trolled by that BK. Nice job, Quay. Um, guys, check out the Pirate... I can't say this. Pirate Potter Podcast. Say that five times fast. Pirate Potter Podcast. Pirate Potter Podcast. <laughs> Nice job. Really, um, we'll end it on this one. I might, uh, I'll use the rest for some taking down the Town Hall 10 content. Uh, some really nice job on One Hive as a team. Great way leading in, getting ready for BFE. And if BFE or Buy Forever is watching this, good luck to you guys, Matt. I'm really looking forward to this war. Um, so, yeah, good luck to you guys. Uh, once again, that'll be Brutus reminding you, you got to be better, for, better than a double. And I will check you next time.